Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these baby pants with footies. As you can see, that's what it looks like. They're very easy to make and they're part of this baby set that I have already shown you. Um, the jacket, the baby bonnet, and the hat. I will leave links to these tutorials down here in the information box, so be sure to check them out. This baby set, like I said, is for a baby between zero and three months. If you want to make the baby jacket and the baby pants smaller for a newborn all you have to do is just use a three millimeter crochet hook with light number three baby yarn and for a baby between three and six months all you have to do is just use a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook with light number three baby yarn okay so i hope you like it and without further say let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin i'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and this light number three baby yarn for those of you who ask i'm using lion brand baby soft and this is a light number three and this is in the color little boy blue okay so to begin i have 10 chains here to these 10 chains i'm going to add two more so in total i have 12 chains on the third chain from the hook one two three i'm going to make a half double crochet right there then I'm going to make a half double crochet on each one of these chains until I come to the last chain. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine half double crochets, and then this next one is my last chain. So into this last chain, I'm going to make six half double crochet into the same chain. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six half double crochets, and now again I'm going to work nine half double crochets, and we're going to do this um, into the back of the chain. So into these stitches that were left from the chain, beginning here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine okay nine half double crochets now we're going to make the same thing we did here six half double crochets into the last stitch so in this case on this side we're going to go through this chain which is the first chain and notice that we have the two little loops make sure you go through both loops because if you don't then you're going to have um, a big hole there so make sure you go through both loops of this chain like this. And into that stitch, you're going to make your six half double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six half double crochets and now to finish this row we're going to go to the top of the first half double crochet right here and we're going to finish with a slip stitch and this is how we complete this first row now we have nine half double crochets six half double crochets here at the very end and then we did 
nine half double crochets here on this side and finished with these six half double crochets. So now for the second row, this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain two and into the same stitch I just did the slip stitch, I'm going to make one half double crochet. Then I'm going to work one half double crochet on each one of these nine half double crochets until I come here to where we have the first out of the six half double crochets here on this side. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine half double crochets. Okay, so we just did nine half double crochets. Now we have these six half double crochets here, so on top of each one, we're going to make two half double crochets, beginning into this first one. There's one and two. Into the next, one, two, that's four, and to the next, one, two, that's six, and to the next, one, two, that's eight, and into the next, one, and two, that's ten half double crochets, and into the next, one, and two. So that's 12 half double crochets for this part here. And now here I'm just going to make these nine half double crochets beginning here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine half double crochets, and then we have these remaining six half double crochets. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did here. We're going to make two half double crochets on top of each one beginning here. There's one, two, into the next, one, two, that's four, into the next, one, two, that's six, into the next, one, two, that's eight, into the next, one, and two, that's ten, and into this last one right here, two more, one, and two. And we're going to finish this row by making a half double crochet on top of the first half double crochet. And this is how we finish this second row. Now I'll come back and show you the third row. Okay, now for the third row we're going to chain one and in this row all we're going to do is we're going to make single crochets all around. Beginning here in this first one where I did my slip stitch, I'm going to make my first one. Then jump to the next half double crochet and make your next single crochet and so on just making single crochets all around okay so continue like this making single crochets on each one of these half double crochets I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this third row in this row we did single crochets so I have a total of 42 single crochets to finish, I'm going to join to the first single crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this third row. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch I just did my slip stitch, I'm going to make my first bean stitch. So to make a bean stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, four loops on my hook, yarn over, insert your hook again, pull up a loop, six loops on my hook, close chain one. 
Again, skip one single crochet and into the next, you're going to make another bean stitch. So you're going to do this until you have a total of six loops on your hook. Two, four, six. Close, chain one. Again, skip one single crochet and into the next, make your next bean stitch. Okay, six loops, close, chain one. Continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this fourth row and then show you the fifth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of bean stitches. I have a total of 21 bean stitches all around. To finish, we're going to join here where we have the two chains with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row. Now for the next row, we're going to chain two we're not going to turn or anything, but into this first space right here, we're going to make a double crochet. Okay, at the beginning, we only do one double crochet. Now, between each bean stitch, we're going to do two. If you can see this, there's two little holes. Into the first one, we're going to do one double crochet. Into the next one, one double crochet. So let me show you into this first little hole make one double crochet into the next one double crochet that's two double crochets between each bean stitch and then we go to the next two bean stitches into the first make one double crochet into the next one double crochet this is all we're going to do all around just make two double crochets between each bean stitch just like this all around. Continue like this. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row, which is this row of double crochets. I have a total of 42 double crochets all around, not including the two chains. To finish, we're just going to join to the first chain with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this fifth row. Now for the sixth row, we're going to make bean stitches all around again. So to do that, we're going to chain two, and on top of this first double crochet right here, I'm going to make my first bean stitch. Okay, four loops, six loops, close, chain one. Now skip one double crochet and into the next, make your next bean stitch. Chain one. And now skip one double crochet and into the next make your next bean stitch this is all we're going to do all around so continue like this just making bean stitches so i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this sixth row which is the second row of bean stitches to finish this row i'm going to join here to the beginning where i have the two chains with a slip stitch now for this row i have a total of 21 bean stitches all around now if you can see i have uh, these stitch markers here so i'm marking the front of the shoe this is where we're going to begin making reductions so um, i've put a stitch marker after the third bean stitch one two three and then a stitch marker and then i have nine bean stitches in between each stitch marker so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then between this stitch marker and the end here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine bean stitches so now for the next row what we're going to do is we're going to chain two inside this first space right here we're going to make one double crochet and between these next two we're going to make two double crochets so one here and the next one here one two for the next two same thing one double crochet into the first space one double crochet into the next space now what we're going to do into the next nine bean stitches is we're going to insert our hook into this first space right there i did a yarn over i'm going to pull up a loop take two loops off yarn over insert your hook into the next bean stitch so right here pull up a loop i have four loops take two loops off three loops on my hook close okay we're going to do this again into these next two. 
So yarn over, insert your hook into the next space, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on my hook, close. Okay, and then again, into the next two bean stitches, we're going to do the same thing. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, Insert your hook into the next, pull up a loop, take two loops off, three loops on my hook, close. Okay, same thing into these next two. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops, close. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing into these last two. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, and into the next here, pull up a loop, take two loops off, close. Okay, so in total we did, let's see how many stitch reductions. This is going to shape um, the front of the booty. So here we have, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five stitch reductions. And now here into this next, we're going to continue just making two double crochets on each one of these spaces, just like we did at the beginning. Okay, so continue like this all the way to the end, just making two double crochets. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the seventh row to finish. I'm just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and this is how I finish the seventh row. Now for the eighth row, we're going to chain two and on top of this first double crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four double crochets. And now here we're going to make a stitch reduction. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on my hook, close. And now here we're going to work these double crochets. So on top of the first one, we're going to make a double crochet, double crochet on top of the next, double crochet on top of the next, and now here we're going to make another stitch reduction. So here we're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, take two loops off, three loops on my hook, close. And now here I'm just going to continue all around just making one double crochet on top of each one of these double crochets until I come to the beginning of this row. Just like this all around one double crochet. I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this eighth row and then show you the ninth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this eighth row to finish. I'm just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and this is how I finish this row. And now here is our baby booty and that's what it looks like so far. So what we're going to do next is after I joined here, this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain two into this first double crochet. I'm going to work a front post half double crochet. The next one is going to be a back post half double crochet. Next one front post half double crochet. Next one back post half double crochet. And this is all we're going to do all around alternating between a front post half double crochet and a back post half double crochet all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of front post and back post half double crochets. To finish, I'm going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and I'm actually going to cut my yarn. I'm not going to make any more rows. So um, I cut my yarn and then I'm just going to pass this yarn through this last loop. And this is how we finish this first row. And here's our finished baby booty. Now we're going to continue, but we're going to continue here in the back. So. Um, right here where you see these two ridges and then right in the middle right here to one side right there We're going to insert our hook, but we're going to work this row from the inside out So I'm going to make a loop here And I'm going to bring it through the front like this and chain one Now into the same stitch I just did 
right here I'm going to make a single crochet then a single crochet into the next half double crochet here a single crochet into the next half a double crochet and then continue all around just making single crochets on top of each one of these half double crochets I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end and I have this one last stitch. So into this last stitch, I'm going to actually make two single crochets. In total, all around for this first row of single crochets, I have 26 single crochets. Now to finish, I'm going to join to the beginning here where I have my first single crochet with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row. Now for the next row, we're going to chain two and turn into this first single crochet right here right there i'm going to now make my first bean stitch for this second row so insert your hook into this first single crochet pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop six loops close chain one skip one single crochet and into the next same thing one more bean stitch this is all we're going to do all around bean stitches separated by one single crochet i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this second row i have a total of 13 bean stitches all around to finish i'm going to join here where i have the two chains with a slip stitch and this is how i finish this second row now for the third row i'm going to chain one and turn into this first space right here I'm going to make two single crochets one and two and then between each one of these bean stitches right in the middle right here we're going to make two single crochets so into the first space there's one and into the next one more single crochet again jump to the next bean stitch we're going to make two single crochets and then so on just continue like this making single crochets all around i will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this row and then show you the next row okay i'm here at the end of this third row which is the single crochet row to finish here at the end i'm going to make two single crochets okay in total all around i have 28 single crochets and to finish, I'm going to join here to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this third row. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Into this next single crochet, we're going to make a bean stitch. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make again a bean stitch chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make your next bean stitch and continue like this skipping one single crochet and into the next make your bean stitch all around i will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this fourth row and then show you the fifth row okay i'm here at the end of this fourth row to finish i'm just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and this is how I finish this fourth row. In total, all around, I have 14 bean stitches. Now for row five, we're going to chain one and turn. In this fifth row, we're going to make the single crochet row. So beginning here into this first space, we're going to make two single crochets, one and two. Now between each bean stitch, again, one and two. Jump to the next bean stitch, one and two. So continue like this, making two single crochets between each bean stitch all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this fifth row and then start on our sixth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I finished by making two single crochets into this last um, stitch here right before we have this um, first chain. So to finish, I'm going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and this is how I finish this fifth row. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now here in this row, we're going to make the bean stitches. So beginning here into this first single crochet right there, I'm going to make my first bean stitch and I'm going to pull loops until I have a total of six on my hook. There's six 
close, chain one. Now skip one single crochet and into the next, same thing. Make your next bean stitch. Six loops, close, chain one. Continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I have a total of 15 um, bean stitches. And if you notice, at the end of every row, we increase it by once. So we began with 13 bean stitches in this row, then we did 14, and now we have 15. So from here on, you're going to continue, but to finish this row, you're just going to join here to the beginning where we have the two chains with a slip stitch. Okay, so you're going to repeat this bean stitch row in the row of single crochets. So for row seven, you're going to chain one and turn. Um, we're going to make our increases at the beginning and at the end in the single crochet row. So beginning here, we're going to make two single crochets into the same stitch and then jump to the next and then do two single crochets. Same thing here, two single crochets and then continue like this all around. You're going to join to the beginning with a slip stitch, chain two and turn. For every row you're going to turn and then you're going to do this bean stitch row. So for the next bean stitch row, you should have a total of 16 um, bean stitches all around and you continue like that until this part here measures approximately 16 centimeters, which is about six and a half inches. I'm not sure how many rows that will be, but I will let you know here how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Oh, one thing, when you measure, make sure that you measure from here. This is the first row that we did, the single crochet row. So I'd recommend you put a stitch marker that marks um, that first row. So when you measure, so measure from the first single crochet row that we did here. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 28th row. From here, from this row of single crochets um, up to this last row, it measures 16 centimeters, which is about 6.25 inches. And now what we're going to do is, oh, one more thing. In this last row, row 28, I have a total of 25 bean stitches all around. Okay, so now for row 29, what we're going to do is we're going to make a normal single crochet row. Um, this means we're not going to make uh, an increase at the beginning or at the end. So we're going to just chain one and into this first space right here, we're just going to make one single crochet and then jump to the next and make your two single crochets between each bean stitch. Continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 29th row. Here at the end, I only did one single crochet, just like we did at the beginning, only one single crochet. Now to finish this row, I'm going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch, and this is how I finish this 29th row. Now for the next row, we're going to chain two and turn. In this row, we're going to make our bean stitch row. So um, we're going to begin here into this first single crochet. I'm going to make the first bean stitch. For this row, we're going to have the same number as we did in the 20th eighth row, which is a total of 25 bean stitches all around. And remember, same thing. You skip one single crochet and into the next, you make your next bean stitch. Continue like this all around for this 30th row. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 30th row. I finished my last bean stitch here and then I joined to the beginning with a slip stitch. I cut my yarn and then I just passed my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done. I have a total of 25 bean stitches all around in this last row and it's measuring from here to the first single crochet row where we did where we put the stitch marker so from here to this last row it's measuring 17 centimeters which is about 6.75 inches okay so now you're going to do the other side which i already have here so you're going to do the exact same thing for this um, one side you're going to do another um, for the other leg and once you have that, which I already have ready, what we're going to do is we're going to join them here in the middle. And to do that, this is where we finished. And then on this side, we're going to count seven bean stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have seven right here. That's my seventh bean stitch. And I put a stitch marker into the first little 
um, hole right there, okay? And then I did the same thing on this side, but we're going to count on this um, from here to here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I also put my stitch marker into the first little hole. So now what we're going to do is we're going to join these two stitches like this, okay, right there. And I'm going to remove the stitch marker for a moment because we don't need him. So I'm going to insert my hook into the first little hole. This is my seventh bean stitch, okay? And then here, same thing. I'm going to remove it and insert my hook into the first little hole. And this is my seventh bean stitch. So from here to here, it's the seventh bean stitch. And now I'm going to bring this loop through the front like this. and I'm going to chain one. Now go back into the same stitch right there and into the same stitch on this side. Bring a loop through and make a single crochet. Now we're going to do the same thing for this next one. So insert your hook into the first little space right there. Go through there and then into the first stitch here on this side right after the bean stitch right there you see this is where we joined and then here into the next space bring up a loop and make a single crochet so technically I just did two single crochets here I did chain one single crochet and then single crochet and now we're going to work single crochets only on one side so I did my single crochet here and then we have this next little space I'm going to make my next single crochet there and then a single crochet here and again a single crochet. This part is the same where we just make two single crochets in between each bean stitch just like this. Right there one and two. One and two. And then here, this is where we finished um, each row when we were making um, this side. So we're going to do the same single crochet one, and then again into the same space. Here you can see the little bar, one more single crochet, that's two. And then on this side, one and two. Okay, so make sure you do two here at the end and two here at the end. This is where we finish this, each row. And then just continue along making two single crochets between each bean stitch all the way around this side. I will meet you here on this other side to show you how we're going to go from this side into this other side and work um, the same thing all around. So I will meet you here into this second stitch right here, into this stitch right there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here on this other side. I made single crochets all around this side. And then here, this is where we joined. So into this last little space here, I'm going to make one single crochet and then jump to this other side right here into this second little hole. See, this is where we joined here. And then into this stitch here, I'm going to make a single crochet. And then work two single crochets on this other side, just the same way we did this first side making two single crochets in between each bean stitch when you come here to where we were ending each row when we were making um, this side here make sure you do two single crochets here and then two single crochets here on this side and then finish here on this other end so i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end. Um, I have this last stitch. So into this last space here, I'm only going to make one single crochet and then I'm going to join here to the single crochet here on this side before we started making our single crochet here. So right here, I'm going to go in through that stitch right there, right in the middle. And then I'm going to make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this first row of single crochets. Now for the second row we're going to chain two and we're going to turn. So now here we're going to make the bean stitch row. So into this first stitch right here I'm going to make my first bean stitch. So 
six loops on my hook let's see six loops close chain one there's my first bean stitch for this second row now skip one single crochet and into the next a bean stitch close chain one skip one and into the next my next bean stitch this is how I'm going to continue all around this side I will meet you here on this side right here right before we move on to this other side to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end on this other side this is the front side so right here um, I have a total of 26 bean stitches up to here so from here from the beginning up to here there's 26 bean stitches so now here we're going to skip this single crochet and into this first single crochet of this side we're going to make our first bean stitch on this other side okay there it is and then just continue along in the same way skip one single crochet and into the next make your bean stitch just like this so continue like this all around I will meet you here on this other side right here to show you how we're going to finish this second row and then start on our third row okay I'm here at the end of this second row up to here I have a total of 51 bean stitches all around to finish this row we're going to join here to the beginning where I have these two chains and make a slip stitch and this is how I finish the second row now for the third row we're going to chain one and turn in this row all we're going to do is single crochets so beginning here into this first space I'm going to make one single crochet then jump to the next bean stitch and between each bean stitch remember we make two single crochets just like this all around okay so continue like this making single crochets for this third row I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this row and then start on our fourth row okay I'm here at the end of this single crochet row and I have my last bean stitch so into this last space right here you only make one single crochet now to finish this row we're going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and this is how we finish this single crochet row now for the next row it's the bean stitch row so we're going to chain two and turn now into this first single crochet right here we're going to make our first bean stitch for this row six loops close chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make your next bean stitch again skip one single crochet and into the next make your next bean stitch Okay, six loops close chain one you're going to continue like this until you come here to the end to finish this row you're going to join here where we have the two chains with a slip stitch chain one and turn and then you're going to make this single crochet row you're going to repeat this until it measures approximately 12 centimeters which is about 4.75 inches and you're going to measure from here from this first row you're going to continue repeating these two rows row um, this row of single crochets and the row of bean stitches until it measures approximately 12 centimeters I'm not sure how many rows that's going to be so um, I will let you know here how many rows I'm going to do so I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this 11th row of bean stitches so it's measuring from here where we did the first row of single crochets up to here it measures about 12 centimeters which is almost five inches and from here to here from here to here it measures about 22 centimeters which is almost nine inches okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to make single crochet rows so here I just joined here to the beginning chain one and now I'm going to turn see I joined here and then chain one and now I'm going to turn so in this row we're going to work single crochet so beginning here so beginning here I'm going to make a single crochet into this next one I'm going to make my two single crochets like we always do but into this next one we're only going to make one single crochet and we're going to make it into the second space right there again into this next one we're going to make two single crochets and into the next one here only one single crochet so insert your hook and make your single crochet so two single crochets 
and into the next one. Two single crochets and into the next one. Continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of single crochets. Up to here, I have a total of 77 single crochets. If you have more or less, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just join here to the beginning with a slip stitch, and this is how we finish this row. Now, for the next couple rows, we're going to switch from this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook to this three millimeter crochet hook. And with this new hook, I'm going to make one chain and turn. Now, in this row, we're going to make front post half double crochets and back post half double crochets. So yarn over into this first stitch where I did my slip stitch, insert your hook, come out the other, pull up a loop, and make a front post half double crochet. Into the next, a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. So front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet. This is all we're going to do all around, so continue like this. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end to finish this row. I'm going to join here to the beginning where I have the first chain with a slip stitch, and this is how I finish this row. Now, we're going to do four more rows so that in total we have five rows of this uh, front post and back post half double crochet. So to do the next row, you're going to chain one, and this first half double crochet is a front post half double crochet, so we're going to make a front post half double crochet. The next one is a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. So continue like this all around, alternating between front and back post half double crochets. When you finish this row, you're going to join here to the beginning where we have the first chain with a slip stitch, chain one, and then continue and do the same thing that we did. So I will meet you at the end of the fifth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I cut my yarn. Now to finish, I'm just going to join to the beginning with a slip stitch, and then I'm just going to pass this yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. Now we just hide our ends, and this is the back side. There it is. That's what it looks like. And here's the front. And that's what it looks like. Okay. And here, uh, in the booties what I did was I twisted some yarn like this and then you turn it and then it'll twist again and this is what I did in this color white and I just um, weaved it through this last front post and back post half double crochet stitches that we did here at the bottom and this is what it looks like and here's our finished baby uh, pants with their own little footsies